everybody, Jeff at Cuttermasters. This is a short video talking about our new uh, ER32 uh, Necker with the indexing capability. This is a Tradesman 8. We make it as a Tradesman Machinist by putting a, an 8 inch wheel on the left hand side, for, good for sharpening lathe tools and so on. That's a 100 grit wheel. Really nice for working with high speed steel tool bits. And it'll grain carbide also. Now on this side we have our, this is our necker. It's normally for grinding reduced necks, or you can, this is the weld in flat wheel, so there's a chamfer, this is a big one, so three quarter inch cutter, you can put your tool in there, lock the spindle, just plunge in like that. Put a nice flat on the shank of the tool. In this case, what we've done, <clears throat> this new version, is uh, is indexing. So what we've done is we've dimpled the shaft of the ER32 um, collet chuck so that there are dimples placed at 45 degrees here and dimples at 60 degrees here. That means this set screw, if you tighten it down, it will find a hole. There, found a hole. Just run it down tight. Now it takes the... No, there's no slot. That's good for three and six flutes. If you have an eight flute or a two flute, you can tighten this one here. And that will that'll give you your two, four, and eight flutes. And you'll index pretty good. You just go to one position, it takes you right to the next position. And then, if you're doing that, in this case, I've ground the end of this reamer off. This is an old 5 8 reamer. And to, to grind the tool, you just you set it. Set it so you get a good grind. So you want to be tipping down this way a little bit so you get some clearance on the side. And then, of course, the wheel produces a 45. And then you set that depth set screw right there. So it goes into that stop. And you sharpen your flutes. Pretty straightforward. You just index to the flute. Sharpen that one. Sharpen that one. It's pretty slick. And they will all be the same. Very straightforward. You can also do the same thing with the corner radius on an end mill. A little bit of hand work on the secondary clearance, but nonetheless, it'll give you a nice shape on the end of a tool. You can do this for end mills also, if you don't want to have sharp corners with your carbide end mills. You can dress those corners off with this. So we're now doing carbide cutoff, neck reduct reduction, welding flats, and reamer sharpening. So, I think it's cool. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.